hi guys welcome welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be how to make a basic pencil skirt pattern but this is an updated tutorial you guys the very first video i put up on youtube was how to make a basic pencil skirt pattern and since then i've gotten over forty thousand views on that video but all the comments keep saying it's not really clear my voice is being covered i mean it was my first video and i was just learning how to edit so i thought let me film an updated version for that as usual this video is very beginner friendly so stay tuned and let's get right into the video okay so first things first you're going to need your pattern paper so i use craft paper for this you can get this at dollarama very cheap at the dollar store the next thing you're going to need you're going to use need a measuring tape you're going to use a pencil for the purpose of this video i'm going to use my marker so you can see clearly you're also going to need your measurement and also your french curve okay so moving on to the measurements needed for a pencil skirt you're going to need two sets of measurements your horizontal measurements which consists of taking your waist measurement and you divide that by four you will take your hip measurement divide that by four also and then also your bust point measurement which you divide by two so your bust point measurement is basically your nipple to nipple and then moving on to the vertical measurement you're going to need waist to hip measurement and the length of your skirt if you guys are new to my channel i have a video on how to take accurate body measurements so please make sure to check it out i will put it somewhere on the screen and yeah let's move on to the next thing first things first i'm just going to begin by drawing a straight line on my pattern paper I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw the front and the back pattern for your pencil skirt on the same pattern paper this is easier and less wasting of paper so from that straight line i'm going to go ahead and mark one inch all the way down and connect the points with my ruler next i'm going to go ahead and impute the vertical measurements so i'm going to take the edge of my paper as my waistline and i'm going to mark from the edge of my paper my waist to hip measurement my waist to hip measurement is 9.5 so i'm going to go ahead and impute that on that second line i drew so the next measurement i'm going to put is my length of skirt measurement so from my waist to however long i want the skirt to be so i went for 24 inches And yeah, I'm just going to draw a straight line. Alright, so now I'm just going to label those lines. So the first line is my hip line and of course the edge of the pattern paper is my waist line. Starting from this line right here, impute your horizontal measurements. So impute your waist measurement divided by 4. Now you're going to do the same thing on the hip line you're going to impute your hip measurement divided by four on the hip line so we're going to draw in our dots and you're going to go back to the waist line and you're going to impute your bust point measurement divided by two so your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two impute that on the waist line and on the hip line as well so remember to always start your measurements from this line here so impute your bust point measurement divided by two on your hip line and from that point on the hip line you're going to go up by two inches and mark that down Okay, so you're going to use a ruler to connect from your waistline to that two inch marking so use a ruler to connect both points together all right so next step is you're going to mark 0 0.5 inches on both sides of that line okay 
all right so next step is we're going to draw our dot legs so you're just going to take a ruler and connect those points to the middle line So altogether, the dots is one inches, and by the time we close it up and we sew it, it's going to take one inch from the waist measurement. So we're going to make sure to account for that and put back that one inch. So you're going to add one inch to your waist measurement now. Moving on, you're going to connect those markings, your measurements, from your waistline to your hip line, like so. okay so next step is you're going to take whatsoever measurement you have on your hip line so that's basically your hip measurement divided by four and you're going to subtract one inch from that and impute it at the bottom of the skirt this is because it's a pencil skirt a pencil skirt tends to be more tapered towards the end so you have that fitted look next step you're just going to connect from the hip line to the bottom of the skirt using a ruler now we're just going to go ahead and put in one inch allowance so this is the same allowance all the way around the skirt so on the sides and also at the bottom okay so that's the front pattern done already and also it doubles as the back pattern but i'm just going to write on that line center front and that you cut on a fold all right so we would get more into the technicalities towards the end but let's work a little bit on the zip allowance so this skirt has a zipper at the back and this um one inch we left in the beginning that's the zip allowance and we're going to account for the zip bulge now because again our back is in a straight line so we have to account for our spinal cord the curve so i'll show you how that is done so starting from this point right here that line that we usually use so the let's say the second line let's call it the second line we're going to mark one inch inward from that line so once we're done marking it we're just going to use our french curve and we're going to connect from that point into the existing line again we're doing this because our spinal cord is not straight it is curved and if we leave it straight like this it's going to give a bulge it's not going to fit properly all right so for you see from that new curve we just made we're going to mark one inch allowance from there So we're going to connect those new points with a French curve. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and label that one inch space as my zip allowance. Okay, so we're done. We're going to go ahead and cut this pattern out. So I'm going to show you how to use this pattern as the back and also the front pattern when you're cutting on your fabric. I really love this because it's easy. It's like two in one. I have the back pattern and I have the front pattern in one. I'm saving paper and I'm saving time. Okay, so this is where we get down to business. How to use this pattern. When you want to cut your front panel for the skirt, you're going to go ahead and fold in that one inch allowance. So you're going to fold at that line and then you're going to place this pattern on top of your fabric. So you're going to make sure your fabric is on a fold when you're cutting for the front. Let me know if you'd like a tutorial on how I 
make your pencil sketch i already have a video of that i will put it somewhere on the screen but i can do an updated version so yes this is what the front pattern looks like never mind that curve we got from the back just ignore that but yeah this is how the front pattern will look like And when we want to cut the back pieces of the skirt, you're going to open um, that zip allowance we folded up and then you're going to cut two panels out for the back piece. So here I'm just showing you guys how to modify this pattern. So for example, if you have a skirt with a band, you're just going to subtract the length of your band. So maybe my band was two inches. I'm going to subtract it from the length of my skirt and I'm going to just fold at that point. And yeah, that's it. So you would also want to make sure to leave half an inch sewing allowance at the waist of your skirt and also on the band as well. You need 0 0.5 inch allowance. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Very easy and simple, beginner friendly. I mean, two in one, can it get any better than that? Anyways, thanks for watching this far. Please make sure to like my video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.